hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Sarah if you're new I'm currently at my parents house in New Jersey so of course I'm going to be bringing you guys along and vlogging it all um, but I'm here because Matt is actually studying for his CPA this week he's taking it next Friday so the day this video goes up so leave a little comment wishing him some good luck I think he'd really appreciate that and probably needs it it's a very hard test but I did want to get out of his hair this weekend and let him just like study all weekend long because he needs to do that so that's why I came up to Jersey spending some time with my family um, and I'm just gonna vlog I love being here so of course I want to bring you guys along I got here yesterday um, just did like a little dinner with my family nothing that crazy but it's Saturday morning and we're gonna go on our little bike ride like if you guys have been following at all and you've seen any other Jersey vlogs you know we go on a bike ride literally like every single day it's my favorite thing to do here so that is the plan and there's nothing else really going on this weekend so we're just gonna hang out have some fun and we'll see what we get into. Right, we got back from our bike ride a little bit ago. Is it super dark? Okay, no. Got back from our bike ride a little bit ago, and we're actually gonna go run out, and I think we're getting our watches. My grandpa gave me his old Movado watch, so I'm gonna go get that size for me, and just run a few errands. My parents' anniversary is Monday, so my dad is very late and <laughs> trying to find a little present now. They're going to dinner tomorrow for their anniversary and all that stuff, but gonna go find her little gift run out do some errands and then come back and relax in the pool for a little bit and this whole morning <laughs> I have been like brainstorming baby shower ideas I don't know why but I'm so desperately like we're not pregnant sorry guys we're not pregnant we're not trying to get pregnant anytime soon but I just love planning stuff like I loved planning our wedding and I had so much fun with it and I'm excited for the next party I can plan so yes like when we do have a baby I'm gonna be the one planning my whole baby shower but I want to have it here at my house and like in the backyard and I'm like bringing all these ideas up to my parents and they're like, okay, enough. <laughs> There's enough. That's enough. Um, but we're going to go run and run some errands and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Look, it's a perfect little something I think. Perfect little car for the camera. Ain't it? Where are we going? What's your plan, Stan? We're gonna stop at the jewelry store. Jewelry store for this, but then what? And what this, are you thinking for mom? And this. What are you thinking for mom though? I don't know. Should we go to like a let's go to like let's go to like where? I don't know. Watch out now, I'm gonna accelerate, then my fall. Okay. We're going to Ulta, Rostelli's, and Marshall's. Hopefully we can find something in one of those stores. And then if not, there's Target across the street, but this is where we're at. Okay, so we got mom a few things from Ulta. We just got her a little eyeshadow palette. It's from Morphe. And colors kind of look like that. There's a bunch of shimmery colors, which I know she likes. And then we got her two little things of skincare from The Ordinary. And one of them, this one is good for dark spots, hyperpigmentation. And this one is good for um, fine lines, wrinkles, texture, all that kind of stuff. So she loves skincare, so I think that will be good. And then we went and got lunch, and we found these Starburst lollipops. Let me know if you guys have ever seen these things before, because I haven't, and they are really fun looking, so I think I'm gonna try the cherry right now. Dad and I got home from shopping a little bit ago. Now I'm coming outside to enjoy the backyard, but I'm gonna start reading this book every summer after. I bought this forever ago, and I honestly, haven't started it so perfect day to read a little book by the pool might float for a little bit and enjoy the day yeah. right Benny? Hi, babes. 
just got back inside. It's been like quite a bit since I last talked to you guys, but since then I was reading my book outside and I actually fell asleep reading it, so I only got like 15 pages into it. I passed out and then my cousins came over for a little bit. We were talking, my aunt came over and like we were just chatting and having a nice little time. And my cousin actually just got engaged like two weeks ago, I think. So we were talking about that and like talking about wedding planning and how I loved wedding planning and like very happy to help if she wants my help, but um, all that stuff. So it is now just about like five o'clock and dad and I are about to run out to the grocery store and get corn on the cob. We are um, barbecuing for dinner. so gonna get stuff for that we got stuff to make kebabs earlier today and we forgot to get corn and in the summer corn is just like must have so gonna go get some corn on the cob change out of my bathing suit now it was like not nice all day <laughs> now well some of the day the morning was nice it got cloudy but now it's beautiful out again so i'm gonna get changed now though and see what else we'll get into the rest of the day it's probably just gonna be a very chill like rest of the saturday because we're just grilling out, having like a nice family time at home night. Um, but yeah. So we just made some kebabs, just chicken, onion, yellow bell pepper. And I'm actually just going to have a full piece of chicken instead of a kebab because I don't really love veg. So um, that's for the parents, my piece of chicken. We got corn. My mom already peeled the other corn that we're going to be making. Dad's turning the grill on. Here's our little dinner. We got kebabs. I have a piece of chicken. We have rice in here. And we have corn still cooking. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. We I went to bed a little bit early last night. Didn't really catch you guys up. We watched House Hunters for a little bit and then we started the Elvis movie. We actually didn't finish it just because it is really long and I'm like an old lady and like to go to bed by 10 o'clock. So um, I think we're going to finish that later today, but right now it's nice out and it's not supposed to stay out ni stay nice out um, much of the day. So my dad and I are going to run out and I need to get my Diet Coke for the day. And then I think we're also going to go look at some antique stores. Like I love looking at old antiques and I just want to go check out some antique stores that are on Main Street here. So I think that's the plan. And then mom and I are going to go on a bike ride in a little bit. Um, of course, like we bike ride literally every single day when I'm here. And I love bike riding. So my dad has like a soccer game he wants to watch at 1130, which is soon. So um, gonna probably go on a bike ride with mom in that time. And then not much else going on today. I texted my grandparents um, last night and I told them I was gonna come over and make them dinner tonight. So that is my dinner plans. I'm just gonna make big CD, something really easy. But my parents are doing dinner tonight at Seasons 52 for their anniversary. So I figured might as well go spend some time with my grandparents, make them dinner. Um, but yeah, that's really it for right now. I guess I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Take two of trying to read this book by the pool. It was really beautiful out this morning and now I'm starting to get a little bit of an overcast, but so perfect to lay out and enjoy the pool, my favorite place in the whole world, and read a book. I'm like literally 15 pages in, I think. I'm making some pizza rolls for lunch. There's nothing in this house. Um, so I'm just gonna set my stuff up right here. We went on a little bike ride, mom and I, this morning, and then I just changed into my bathing suit. And it's like actually perfect reading weather out because it's not sunny, like I won't be dying of heat. But I'll be able to like relax and enjoy the pool, try to read my book. I'm gonna get my pizza rolls from inside. Um, just nothing to eat here. And I didn't feel like going out and grabbing food. So that is the plan. Pizza rolls and I'm gonna make my, my dinner soon. I'm gonna prep all of the ziti. So it's just like ready to throw in the oven when I get to my grandparents' house tonight um i think that'll be better than than like making it there and making a mess of their house and stuff so got my pizza rolls and my computer and i actually decided i'm gonna chill in the porch for a minute like 
this is my favorite spot. All the flowers are dead right now because it's like hot in the end of summer. But usually there's like beautiful hydrangeas and like this is just my, my favorite spot in the house. So I'm just going to sit in my little chair and eat my pizza rolls, watch some YouTube, and then I'm going to go out and read my book for a little bit. Back to my channel. We're doing another week in my life in New York City. I just got back from New Hamptons this morning. Go watch my last I'm watching today. Danielle Carolyn's latest vlog. She actually posted it this morning. Week to weekend in my life in New York City. I love her vlogs. So she's like always someone I love to watch as soon as they post a video. And she just posted a 45 minute video. So I'm going to be sitting here for a little bit, eating my pizza rolls, watching some YouTube, and then I'm going to go out and read. It's time to start reading my book again. Sitting by the pool. I'm actually in the shade right now, which is really nice. Sun came back out, blue skies again. So it's time to relax. And Mr. Bentley's coming. It is quite a bit later. It's actually four o'clock, I think, 3.55. I think I went out at like 12.30. So it's definitely been a long time. Um, I'm just about halfway through the book now. It's actually really good. So I'm happy that I'm like getting through it. I'm about to start chapter 10, so I'm on page 143, um, and it like goes back and forth between like now in their lives and when they were like teenagers living at the lake. The story is like all based at um, a lake in Canada, like the summer lake house they go to and all that kind of stuff, so it's really cute, but it does like bounce between present time and past. Um, which I like, but I like, I think, the story of, like, now better, so I wish there was, like, a little bit more of that, but it's really good so far. I am actually just, like, getting out of the pool. I'm gonna go get ready for the night, like, shower up, and I have to start making ziti, because I'm gonna go to my grandparents in, like, an hour, I guess. They said they eat dinner around 5.36, so I want to be there in time to, like, have it cook there, and I don't want to, like, disturb their night too much, so I definitely want to have it ready by the time they say like they eat dinner um but my ziti is like super easy to make it literally is like five ingredients so i love having that to be like an easy dinner i make um so i'll show you guys what i put in that and everything and i can link the recipe below if you guys care but um yeah that is the plan i'm gonna go shower and just like clean up we we're starting to have some clouds move in, but it was like a beautiful day, which it was not supposed to be nice all day. So I'm really happy it stayed nice out. Got a nice lot of reading time in the pool, and I probably got burnt a little bit because I actually didn't put sunscreen on today. I just wasn't expecting to be out for more than like an hour, but it ended up being a long time. So we were gonna like do antiquing and stuff today and just didn't get around to it. So that is okay, but um, just gonna go in and start like cooking, showering, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in a little. So here is the finished big ziti. So what I do, I obviously cook the rigatoni noodles, and then I mix together this sauce, the Bertoli tomato and basil sauce, and a um, thing of ricotta cheese. This is just 15 ounces, the small one. And I also do a whole bag of mozzarella. I do half in the mixture and then half on top. And then you also do just like a little bit of parmesan i think it's a fourth cup i kind of just eyeball it to be honest but i think the recipe calls for a fourth cup parmesan so i put that in and then i also just sprinkle a tiny bit on top too and then i also put a little bit of italian seasoning in and then you cover this with tin foil put it in the oven for 30 minutes and then uncover it and cook for 15 more minutes and then it's good to serve so i'm going to cover this now about to head over to my grandparents in a little bit i still have Maybe like a half hour. Maybe I'll go out and read a little bit more. Okay, guys. It's been a little bit of time. I just got back from my grandparents. They loved... Um, they really liked the ziti I made them, so it was a big hit. Everyone enjoyed it, and then they actually had some dessert, so we ate dessert there. Um, oh, but I got um, these candies at Wawa. These are the best candies. I put them in the fridge because they start to melt in the car. But um, these are the best candies in the freaking world, nerds. Gummy clusters. So I'm going to go chill with these and my book out on the porch. Read a little bit more. My parents are still at dinner. 
and they had reservations at 7 and it's 7 30 so they'll probably be there for a while um i'm gonna go read on the porch i just took bentley out to the bathroom i'm sure he's gonna come hang with me out on the porch because he's all alone in here so i'm really like into my book right now so i'm gonna go keep reading that until my parents get home and then we'll probably end up watching either house hunters we've been watching a lot of house hunters here because i love it or finish the elvis movie uh, that we started last night we got like halfway through it and it's just so long we couldn't finish it last night so either gonna finish tonight or tomorrow and yeah so i'll probably see you guys just in the morning i'll carry this vlog into tomorrow tomorrow is labor day Good afternoon. It is Monday, Labor Day. So happy Labor Day, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend. But I just brushed my hair out. I never brush my hair out right after I shower anymore just because I notice a lot of my hair coming out. So I always brush my hair out like the morning after when it's all like dry and um, kind of like knotted. <laughs> it becomes like a lion's mane. So I am going to do a quick slicked bun really fast. We're going to lunch with my grandparents' house. No, we're going to lunch with my grandparents um, in a little bit, so I'm getting ready for that. I actually finished my book this morning, like early this morning, and it was really good. I really suggest that book. It like goes back and forth between like present tense and past tense, and I really liked it. So I finished that this morning, and that's about it. So I'm just about to get ready. I'm going to do a little slick bun because it's so easy, and like five minute makeup. We have to leave here in like 15 minutes, so this is what I look like. 15 minutes before we have to leave. I literally look like like Hermione. I don't know. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, makeup and hair is all done. It literally took me less than 10 minutes. So if you guys ever care to see like the slick back bun, makeup routine, any of it, let me know. And I can obviously include that in one of the vlogs. I just like don't want to bore you to death if you're not interested in the makeup and the hair. So really, really easy five minute makeup routine. I'm going to get dressed really fast and then we're going to head out. Okay, so here is the little outfit. I have this ribbed crop top on from Cotton On. I bought this, I think, Black Friday. These are the um, Princess Polly denim shorts, like the ones that like cross over. And then I have a little Shein. It's literally like a beach cover up, but I really like the pattern and all like the color blocking. So I'm just throwing this over just in case I get cold in the restaurant. So this is the little outfit. Sorry, the lighting is awful, but. And we're also going to this restaurant called La Scala's. I have like literally brought you there a million times. I go all the time. I love it. Um, it's actually where I worked when I was going into my junior year of college. So I am very familiar with the restaurant and I still am like obsessed with it. So that's where we're going. Gonna get some like fun Italian food and like ricotta board. It's their pizza bread ricotta and honey and then like you dip the bread in the honey oh it's so good um so that is where we're off to and i think we're about to leave like i think we have to be there in 30 minutes so i'm gonna head out meet my grandparents have a fun lunch i'll see you guys there We got back from lunch a little bit ago it was so good it's like seriously one of my favorite restaurants in the like south jersey philly area it's called the scala's fire if you're ever around here i know there's like two or so in philly i think and then all like around south jersey there's a ton of them so the scala's fire if you ever go get the ricotta board best thing ever um but lunch was really yummy had a good time with my grandparents and i got home a little bit ago changed back into comfy clothes and I'm back on the porch, my favorite place. But it's actually getting late now and I'm about to head back inside and pack up my stuff and head home for the night and get back to Virginia to Matt and Frankie. It's been a long weekend. I got here Thursday, no, I got here Friday morning. So I guess not that long, but I definitely am missing my boys. So I'm ready to go home and I just want to pack up and kind of get out before it gets too dark here. And it's supposed to rain my whole drive home, which is, like, really awful. I've been getting a lot of driving anxiety recently. Um, and I don't think the rain's gonna help. It's been pretty bad. So, um, I definitely want to try to get at least a little bit of the way home before it starts raining. So, I don't think I want to wait too long to get on the road. Um, 
but that is about it for my weekend in Jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love being home with my family and just being like back in my hometown. I like love it here. So always have good weekends when I'm here and I love to vlog them and bring you guys along. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe, stick around and even like share with your family and friends, um, help grow this little family we got here and all that kind of fun stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.